Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smart to Jannah or whatever Smart to Jannah Death Death It's not exactly the most popular topics of conversation now is it? Death is coming Death is here People avoid death because it gets them questioning about their purpose, about their existence, about their current way of living. All right, I'm guilty, I'm guilty! <laughs> and how they are wasting their existence. And that of course doesn't go well with society and the interests that make money from our belief that we're gonna stay here forever. Because think about it, if people genuinely internalize the fact that you know what, I'm actually not gonna stay here forever you would not be buying as many things as you currently do. The two mindsets that are being pushed by commercialism and being pushed by the reality that's taught to us by Allah, that loggerheads mate. Now that being said, yeah, a couple of days ago, a 40 year old Saudi man was missing for three days. When they sent out a search party, lo and behold, they found him in the desert in the position of sajda, which is the prostration in salah or prayer if you're not a Muslim that's watching. Boy, what a way to go. What a way to go. Yeah, that even the way you've died is testifying to you passing away in the state of Iman. Normally we ask isn't it? Oh did the person read a kalima or how was how were they when they were passing away? What was their state? <laughs> you don't need to ask anything about this guy. He's in such stuff for God's sake. You know what I'm saying? And what a way to go when even your death increases the Iman of the people around you. That's remarkable because people watching this they're making dua for the person and it, it's getting them thinking that boy I've heard of that saying you die as you have lived and you will be raised as you have died and as you get raised will determine your final abode. So I mean how am I living my life? How am I going to die? But if you were to ask someone else hey how would you like to die? Chances are the person will probably take it as a threat and probably call the police. They might even get their affairs in order and sort out their will. Depends if you're in an Italian suit and you've got a, a rifle in your hand then maybe don't ask that question. <laughs> we know as human beings we really agree on many things but our birth and death are something that nobody disagrees with. Yeah, Everybody accepts that we were born yeah, and when we were born, there were public celebrations. Yeah, but when somebody dies, it's a private mourning, isn't it? And of course, with everything else, movies and the media try to commercialize death. Yes, that's right. They're literally traumatizing us to get us to devote ourselves to their movie or whatever. I mean, think about it. Yeah, all of these classics that we remember, even from childhood, they have all involved a death. Be it Lion King, be it Bambi, be it Finding Nemo, Harry Potter. <laughs> you name it. Even if you look in Bollywood, yeah, you've got Dev Das, Kalhonaho. Even iconic writings like Romeo and Juliet. Juliet! Macbeth, Crime and Punishment. But sometimes Hollywood just takes it too far. And you said you, your sister and your dad. Both dead. But still got a mom though? Killed by a dark elf. A best friend? Stabbed through the heart. And I guess maybe because we haven't experienced death ourselves, and we experience life every single day so we're used to life yeah. We're used to existing. We're used to seeing everything around us and death the only time we get to experience it is when it actually happens. The other times when we see it is when it's happening to other people. So that's how our mind has just I don't know rationalize that I guess. So it's only when you close your eyes and you actually think imagine if it was to happen right now. What events would unfold? What would they call me? Would they call me a corpse? A dead body? 
because when you die that's literally what you are you're a piece of flesh now so in Islam we are told to reflect and ponder upon death profusely why because it helps us appreciate our life and encourages us not to waste it and even you got famous novelists like Dostoevsky yeah some even argue that he is a better novelist or a better writer than Shakespeare and he's written a book about a person that's about to be shot yeah, in front of a firing squad and he talks about how he perceives life at that moment in time yeah he sees a church opposite him and right on top of the church there's a spire and the way the light reflects upon the spire is something that he sees it's something so small something seemingly so insignificant but it shows that at that moment where we're clinging on to the most smallest of things but when we're alive so many big things go wasted and then he talks about how that person then survived and how his life changed yeah how his perspective changed but to other people he was seen as an idiot <laughs> and that's why he calls the book idiot lol you got another novelist yeah by the name of leo tolstoy he also is a higher ranking writer and he wrote a book called Ivan Ilyich in which a famous professional lawyer gets a fatal illness and then he's on his deathbed and then the writer talks about how he changes his view on existence and on life the people around him yeah the people that were once upon a time you know his friends and the people that you know were with him and then he was able to relate more with the slave boy that used to come and help him he had more respect for him so even these big novelists their books are famous because they talk about these things because it's a reality who's that knocking at the door <laughs> yes it's death <laughs> people say oh man my mom's low or this is low or that's low mate just really internalize it yeah and one of the exercises close your eyes and think it's happening right now and think practically what would happen next who would come into the room what would be the next step what would you be leaving behind and then ask yourself are you guaranteed tomorrow I'm not guaranteed tomorrow you're not guaranteed tomorrow then why are we so comfortable I'll leave you with that thought guys until next time Death is outside. There's no escape. Assalamu alaikum.